Okay, we just got to Ariel Lindsay's house. What's up, guys? I'm Nastasia, for those of you who don't know me. Um, so we're going in, and I'm super excited because Ariel's actually uh, like an old friend of mine. We had a mutual friend we met. So she recently got to a million on TikTok, and I'm so excited to interview her. And I don't know, she's just killed it. She's really inspiring. You guys are gonna love her. I'm gonna go up. You guys can follow me. This is the wonderful and amazing Ariel. She is an old friend. We'll have to explain the story. But like, <laughs> basically, we had met at like this Bloggers Who brunch event. Yeah. It was, it was an event at the Grove. Yeah, that's right. But then, yeah. So I, I've been following your journey though to oh. a million, and you finally hit a million, guys. Like, yes. Yes. Let's give it December first was yes, the day. That, I, Perfect. Yeah. And you finally hit it. And because she has not been one of these people that's just gotten lucky. You have worked consistently yeah. to get no, I, to I, these benchmarks. And it's happened because you're talented and creative and you have this fan base of loyal people who love you. But it really was shout out a to lot my fans. of yeah, shout out to them. But it was a lot of work for you to get here. So yeah. I just I'm excited to talk with you about that journey, what I'm that super was excited. like. Yeah. Yeah. And I think you should show us around the house. It's okay. a cool house. We're at the playhouse. This is Playhouse, playhouse. LA. Welcome. We love the show. Chandelier. There's a uh, lot of things to play with in here. Yeah, like, there's, actually, we have a lot of fun things. Like you actually have like a full blown just like. We have so we this recently. Is literally a playhouse. <laughs> we've recently moved in. We have a lot of plans. Like we want to get a slide. We want to like yeah. have like a ball pit. This but, is amazing. You know, we have to start somewhere. We Look have a little. Unicorn. You know, we have a little. <laughs> All right. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> So this is the studio, like we make a lot yes. of content here, we have a lot of backdrops. One of the influencers in the house, she's actually like an actor, she's got booked for like a really huge, I can't say what, but like a, a TV series that's really big. Um, yeah, and so she does a lot of her auditions here. And, Genius. Um, so then she can film, she can do her thing, mm -hmm. she now is getting work, like this is like a space I feel like every content creator needs because like you need yeah. to be able to rearrange your space and have light at all times so you can constantly be creative, Yeah, right? we just always have tons of lights on deck because you never know you're gonna need we it. need them. It's genius. And this is supposed to be a dining room, but we're like, why would we put a table here <laughs> when we could literally just make it a studio? That's so, so. that's incredible. I love how you use, you've used this space. Everything is purposeful. Yeah. This is Playhouse. Okay, so a oh. big ass flamingo is very cute. I like what we got going on here. This is Henry. <laughs> Henry. Oh, he's a little limp right now. It's okay. <laughs> so, okay, when you first decided to get together with all these content creators, mm -hmm. was it like stressful trying to have time for yourself or get things done, or was it easier because everybody's creating content and everybody's able to help each other out? It's easier because we, especially like our group, like the four of us, we are like, everyone's like a, we're very real, like, and everybody's on the same page and everybody genuinely cares about one another, like, and it really has a lot to do with the people that you have around you. Okay. And like, so everyone's really friends. Yeah, like we're all like actually just like super yeah. close friends. That's and awesome. that makes such a big difference because um, we all support each other and we all have different like talents that we bring to the table. So awesome. if we one of us help needs help other. with something or if we're like yeah. trying to need to talk about an idea or have like some inspiration, like creative inspiration, yeah. there's always somebody, like we can just bounce ideas off of each other. That is so amazing. It, it makes what it way blessing. easier. Yeah. yeah. The thing that comes to mind mm -hmm. when watching your TikToks is that word inspiration. Oh, and yeah. And I feel like you do very much like inspire me. Yay. You inspire so many That's people. That's like my goal. My I goal is like to inspire people. Really? I, I yeah. Mean, it, 
it makes sense. It comes through. Like you That's really, awesome. really want to show people that like you can do it if you just work at it. Because you even have a social media course. <laughs> oh I, yeah, I, I do. Found, I found. <laughs> I almost forgot about that. I, I do. Fr I found that, and I was like, oh my gosh, the fact that she took the time to like make a course for other people, like you, how amazing. That took so much work. I actually had no idea, and then. Because it's like a whole Instagram video course. Like I wanted a video course because I wanted it to be personalized. Yeah. And I wanted it to be me talking like this is, you know, like. My actual advice. Yeah. Like my actual it took experiences. So not just long. like random bullshit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, That's yeah, awesome. I, I actually forget that it's there, but it is there. Because <laughs> I went right from launching that and then COVID happened. But then I was just like, I started doing TikTok. And then I was just so focused on TikTok. That yeah. like I barely had time to kind of market it or talk about my Instagram course, but it's still there. Yeah, and it's still great information. Go like check it out. even though Instagram has evolved a lot, there's still like very just very basic yeah. data, basic information that is Everybody still going to be applicable. To mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna go check that out. I love your nails. Look uh, at her I nails. just did them myself. They look so good. Thank you. Oh, these are so cute. Thank I love you. the sparkles. You're always decked out. Where does <laughs> your inspo for your outfits come from? And the hair. I came for the hair. I'm here for the hair. Let's address um, the hair. That's a good question. I love the pink hair. It's everything. It's the, everything. I knew you did it, what, for, you had 50,000. I did it 000. when I hit 50,000. Yeah. That was the, that was like the, the thing where my followers, we kind of like decided on a game and then a color. They chose pink. They and, did? Yeah, that was like the more unanimous decision. So oh then I went God. with that. So I was like, it's okay, so 50K. Fitting, I love awesome. it. Like, I honestly no, I didn't. I thought too. it was just going to be like kind of like a one off thing. And then I would be like, all right, I'm done. I'm going back to like blonde or brunette or something. No, it suits you really well. But it's well. fun. It's super fun. And it's evolved. I've had like very different shades of it. I've like. So now I just embrace it, and yeah. it's like, yeah, it's part of you. I, yeah, no, I, now I love it so much. I love it. It's yeah. awesome. I think you've become known for like a few things, and I, I like, I, I want to know how has it been for you? Like, you know, you've done so many different types of skits. You've done so many different content creation ideas. Yeah. But the one thing that people keep making you do over and over again, and you have to keep doing it, and, and I love it because it's, yeah. it's made you who you are yeah. online. Yeah. And they, they love it. They love it. They love it. But, like, what is it like for you? Because you're like, I'm known as, like, the throw it back girl. <laughs> literally. Like, uh, it's, it's literally like that where I'm like, Dang, I really am known as the throwback. <laughs> to be honest, it's funny because it literally started it. out as a joke. And I even have people that will sometimes like, or like haters or whatever, negative people in the comments will be like, you don't even know how to do it right. And it's funny because like the way that I throw it back, it's, it literally started as a joke. And even if you scroll way, way down in my TikTok, I have like a really old TikTok where I'm like, almost making fun of like the TikTok throw it back. I'm like, why are people lifting their knee up? I'm like, I'm sorry, like anybody that has been a dancer, we never threw it back like that. So I made a TikTok about that like a long time ago. But then ever since I made the throw it back one, the yeah. one that went viral, I'm doing the, and like, <laughs> and so that's it. That's the move now. It's like, you it's gotta, like you, you literally you lift your leg. <laughs> literally. It's and it's, it's just like, it's just a, a joke, but yeah. people love it. They love to see it. Yeah. So I just, I I'm just here keep for doing it. it. I mean, it's fun. Girl. It's super funny, but it does allow me to have, obviously, like more eyes on me, so right. more of an audience. So then I can also be like, "Hey guys, I also do this. Like yeah. I also do this." So, oh my gosh! It's, yeah. So I have to I have to find the balance where I'm still having fun creating, and doing the things yeah. that I love, and then also being like, "All right, guys, let's go." <laughs> <Yeah>. like, <laughs> Because they love it. So. Oh my gosh, her hips. They strong hips, strong hips. We love it. We love it. Well, we love it. let's go ahead inside. It's getting chilly out here. It's time. I'm literally dead. Ariel, you won. Yeah, I won. <laughs> yeah. So I I think I need one with my pink hair, though. Yeah, you definitely do. Yeah. This is iconic. That's like outdated. And of course, <laughs> she has Baby Yoda. Oh, of off. course. And Simba. And Simba. Simba, this also is here. All, like things that she even references on online oh and she has a tattoo so i have simba here yeah. i have simba there my fandom whoop, my ring just flew off my finger <laughs> my fandom is called are there my lions so oh. i lions are my favorite animal oh, i love that yeah 
That's so cute. Yeah, so they're my lions. And so. I want to see, I want to um, point out this sneaker collection because yeah. this is a full-blown collection. It is. I'm working on it. It's still growing. Okay, it's which really is your favorite pair? These. Definitely the J Balvin. For sure. Yeah, for let's sure. bring them out. Yeah. Can we bring them out? Oh, for sure. Like, I actually contemplated just, like, literally leaving them in the box because they're so... They're so amazing. But then I was like, you know what? Like, I want to enjoy them. I want to make TikToks in them. I want to do photo shoots and dance. Absolutely. Yeah. And so you I just, I was like, I'm going to enjoy my sneakers. I'm yeah. going to rock these. They're so I cute. I literally was like, do I do it? Do I not? And I was like, no, nah, I'm going to do it. I have to. I love the pink pair. Yeah, those are this cute. I know. I know. Yeah, and now you paint them. You've always painted them. You've, mm -hmm. like, created, like, a whole brand around it because people want your sneakers. Yeah, and, it's crazy. And you do different crazy designs. Like, what, like, which ones are you working on? Do you want to show us maybe well, one that you're so working I, on right now? The, um, the only ones I'm working on that I've just started because I just finished... Um, the last ones and I actually did a custom sneaker giveaway when I hit a million oh, that's awesome. and then I picked two winners So Aww. that's the ones that I'm working on now. Everyone was probably so excited. I know so sh it's funny because both of the winners They're both like these girls totally not related. They just like then they both happen to want butterfly designs yeah. So I, I'm starting I just started literally on these like yesterday Aww. That's so cute. Um, I love how this little yeah. thing looks like she's got a butterfly theme going yeah, on. Yeah, so they're gonna be blue So I'm gonna start painting them um, and probably by the time like this is up, they'll be done. And oh, yay! Because I'm gonna be working on them. I need to get them done this coming week. Very so cool. I have hers to do, and then um, Jaslyn and Brianda. So they're under there. They're I had to yeah. order them and That's yeah, wait so for them to fun. come and stuff. So you do little giveaways, like yeah. What um okay, so what inspires you in making content? How to like keep coming up with new ideas? Like how do you never like run out of like things to do? What inspires you? What motivates you? Um, um, I it's so like honestly I get inspired a lot by other creators and mm -hmm. I'll literally scroll the for you page and also like things that I'm like inspired by I'll save so I have a ton of videos that are saved that I've like because you can save TikTok videos and so I have like a whole collection of videos that I've saved where I'm like oh I love this I want to recreate something but like make it my own or I'll ha I'll save dances and I'll like because I love t TikTok dances I yeah. honestly love them yeah um my videos don't normally perform as well when I do a TikTok dance but I don't care because <laughs> it like, makes me I'm happy make it anyway, and I'm just like, like I don't care yeah. I'm gonna do TikTok dances I don't care what you guys say yeah um so that's part of it and also like there's a lot of things that I want to do I have so many ideas like my mind is literally like always going I don't feel like I like ever switch off really if that makes sense yeah like, you I just, always like, have ideas so my problem is actually having more ideas and like the execution of them than not. That's okay. And then editing them. Yeah. So. But, but luckily you are in a situation where it's like in LA you have people around you that are creating content, mm -hmm. especially in the house. It seems like it's a structure around it. Is there ever a time where you feel like I just want to unplug? Or do you, are you mm. constantly just in it? I'm constantly in it. And there are times like that, but that's like... I think it's actually not as often because I genuinely love what I do. Yeah. So like it actually makes me happy. Yeah. The only time I feel like I need to unplug is when I feel overwhelmed. When I have too many things going and I'm on. Th going on. Yeah. But like if things are in order and that's like one of my goals also for 2021, I'm not that organized as a person <laughs> and I'm working on it. So like that's one of my things. I'm like, I'm going to be more organized this year. Yeah. And so when I'm more organized with goal. like calendars and setting aside things and being like this day I'm gonna do this and yeah. stuff like that then I feel like more calm I do want to sit and Let's get some sit. okay <gasps> so I'm so excited to be in this room it is like a cotton candy dream in here you guys like I actually love it so much like Welcome to my world what it really <laughs> is your whole world yeah you made like Ariel's world and that's kind of like what I've noticed throughout the theme of like your life, your your social media, yeah. your clothing, your yeah. aesthetic, like it's everywhere infused in your whole lifestyle. Yeah. And I want to know like why the pastels, where did everything come from? Did you design it all yourself? I mean, I just love colors in general. I'm like, I know. I tried to dress colorful. I know. I saw. Did you see? I, I literally only wear neutrals, you guys. Like I literally. I no. Feel like the I day I met you, you were wearing neon, and that's why you caught my eye. Yeah. I remember you were wearing neon green. Oh my god, that's right. And so I was like, I'm still obsessed with neon, but right now I'm in my tie dye pastel phase, um, and I think that's probably gonna like. But I still have like neon. Like if you look in my closet, there I have like a ton of neon yeah. stuff. But the pastels is like my vibe right she now. She literally has, wait, I'm gonna bring it in. She has a, um, 
This is so cute. I just have to show everyone. My basketball purse? Yeah, the freaking basketball purse. Okay, basketball. So I played basketball in high school. <laughs> this is so This is my favorite cute. sport. Oh I was gosh. the point guard. That one's a little sad. It's like all bent. So I is, love them. Yeah. This, this is my favorite ball. purse. It looks cute with this outfit. Okay. Put these back. <laughs> Just had to show everyone. Oh, um, but yeah, it's everywhere. It's like your bags, your clothes, everything. And I love that you have like a theme of your life. But yeah, I've I've loved neon, but I would always wear neutrals a lot. Yeah. But then I kind of got into the neon vibe, and I did have it on that day, and I remember us talking about it. Yeah. And I had like a set on. It was really cute. It was like an athleisure set. Mm -hmm. It had the neon on the stripe, and you had neon on. You had biker shorts that were neon. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And I feel like we did bond over that, but like. I don't know. Yours is just like you've exploded with color. <laughs> so I tried to be in theme for yeah, you. Yeah, you did such a good job. Thank you. Yeah, you look really good in bright Thank colors. You. Thank you. Thank and you. And also, you, you have too. green eyes, which yeah. is a very rare color, apparently. Like, oh, yeah, the percentage of people that have green eyes is like very small. Yes. So I, it makes I, your it's eyes like, pop. I loved how, okay, I saw on the po this podcast that you did. Yeah. Um, you were talking about how you have to do opposite of the color wheel and how like oh, that's yeah, really yeah. important. And so I was thinking, I don't remember like, what we were talking about though. I don't in remember reference either. To that, but I do remember. It was us like mentioning he had that. blue eyes and he wanted to have oh. blue hair. Oh, that's and right. And you were like, no, you have to have orange hair. Yeah. Because opposite of the color wheel. And then I was like, she really thinks about this. Like I do. I'm like, yeah. okay, I need to be in this mode. So like, I feel like I need to wear like lots of purple. Yeah. Even if you had purple, lavender, it would like lavender look beautiful. I want to dye my hair lavender. You look so good with oh lavender. My God. No, I want to do it. Do it. Go do it. <laughs> You're inspiring. See? You're even rubbing off on me. See what I mean? I'm like about to dye my hair yeah. because I'm sitting next You're to you You're not right the now. first person. So oh, my okay. God. So what, okay, what, how did this all begin? And uh, you're from thing? Florida. Yeah, I'm from Florida. So, but I've also, like, I grew up, like, I'm from the West Coast, and I grew up going to the beach all the time. Like, the beach is my favorite place. This ring just says, doesn't want to stay on my hand. It's nice twice. It really hates you. It really. We'll just let her go. Yeah. We'll get her later. Yeah. So I've grown up by the beach. So like the ocean, anything that reminds me of the beach or like beach vibes and like the ocean and palm trees. Like these are all my favorite things. My favorite color is ocean blue, Makes which sense. most people think it's pink, but it's not. I just love the color pink. But my favorite color is like an ocean blue. But I love how pink and blue look together. They complement each other well. Is there ever a point where you feel like embarrassed in public to do dances or and you're around your family? Because I'm sure your family just like doesn't get it. Okay, so for my family, like I, I'm not like the laughing stock because like, but I am. There's like, no way. They, they gotta be so proud. No, they're they're gen. They are supportive, but they think it's funny also, and yeah. they're, and they're like. Like, so, especially my older brother, like, our family's humor is also very dry, sarcastic and yeah. stuff, so I come from a family of a bunch of smart asses, <laughs> but it's great, but also I know, like, what I'm in for, so I get, like, but they're also supportive at the same time, so I don't ever feel, like, invalidated or bad, right. I just, it's more, like, entertaining to them, yeah. but they're like, what, are you gonna make a TikTok, Ariel? And I'm like, yeah. I'm working. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's just like, You're like it's this like, is my job. It's like ridiculous. When did you know it would become your job? Um, last March, when I quit my job, a part-time job that I had. I was working for a good friend of mine um, for her marketing agency, mm -hmm. and there was a point when I just, I think I had gone live, and you can make money on live stream, and yeah. I think I just like saw the potential. I talked about this in the po the podcast that I did yeah. also, and I just saw the potential of like what of that like this is actually a real thing that I can do and and that I love so it wasn't even like I was like oh I can make money here because like also unless you just pop off and you go viral right away like right tiktokers even with several million followers they're not yeah. like they're not all like super right. rich or like making bank um, you have to learn how to monetize you yourself. have to learn how to monetize and you have to like figure it out and it's not just always going to be like oh you're going to make money from live streams because that's not that's not like you the can't case. live off of that, but um, so I did see I did see the potential, and I was like I can, and I was like just did the math of like how much time I was spending doing a part time job that I enjoyed, but it wasn't my passion, right. um, and you know it doesn't like take you to like a future that's your future. Right. So I was like, all right, and then that's she an also hourly, saw that because that's so. an hourly wage that like you yeah. always get, but you I can, can't. I literally can't. You can like fluctuate depending, and you've d diversified yourself in a way. I know that you also do Twitch. You yeah. Started doing that, and you I play love Fortnite, right? I started playing <laughs> Fortnite like literally in October last year or something, and like I don't know. It's funny because I used to think that gamers 
So nobody take offense, okay? This is like me being like naive and no, like uneducated. We love I was honesty. like, I was like, gamers. I was like, people do that for a living. I was like, how nerdy? Like what? Yeah. Like that's so dumb. Yeah. And then actually, so Shannon, who's my best friend, who's also like, she's got like an incredible like resume of and accomplishments of like her own. But when I found out that she's also a gamer and she uh -huh. has like she's been like doing that professionally on Twitch for years and she's yeah. like I was like what because you see her Instagram and she's like just looks like this high fashion like super like you know indigenous like and you support find advocate and you're just like <laughs> and I was like you literally play video games like what so then I just started learning about it and I was like this looks fun and yeah. so she inspired me to do Twitch and then I was just doing it and I was painting custom sne sneakers I wasn't even gaming mm -hmm. it's also an investment like there's a lot of right. you, there's so much to learn like it's in a time investment and money because there's so much to learn that goes into Twitch that's like I can't even begin to like right like the whole but community then, I'm like but, what but then from 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 doing all of these things mm -hmm. you've been able to make it your lifestyle now yeah like and you have that big transition from Florida to LA like yeah. now you're settled here where do you see yourself kind of going next I know you have just such a strong community like you even have merch now we got to show everybody the oh, merch yeah. let's show everybody the merch okay, okay. and then I want to know where you're going to be going next because like you do have this strong community. Have you thought about doing, like, acting? Or have you thought about, like, even... Because now even, like, Addison Rae is being, like, booked for movies. I know, and, like, I saw that. Courtney Kardashian, like... I know, it's crazy. This, this merch is so freaking cute, though. So, I had to do... I'll answer your question in a second. Um, but so we can cool. show everybody, so... Look. Of course, it throw says... Throw it back. <laughs> of uh, course it says Of course it, it says it's that. It's yeah. So you guys can go order the Throw It Back merch. By They're going to be Lindsay. limited, limited edition. They're all, like, all of my socials, the link is going to be in, like, all the bios where you can get it just to make it super easy for people to find it. But, yeah, this is a white one and a black one, and they're super cute. I love they're them. That's why I did my nails easy. also to, like, kind of, like, match, they, everything like, the colors. Everything perfect. We love it. So, yeah, I want to know. Oh, like, so to go back to your question, yeah. yeah so, um, this is something I'm not, like, I haven't really told a lot of people, but I have, I've always had a goal to release music, um, so but so I really am very, I'm like a a shower singer, a closet singer. I don't yeah. like to sing in front of people. I don't feel confident in my vocals to sing in front of people, even though I, like, I also feel confident to do so, if that yeah. makes sense. Like, no, I could see I myself, like, yeah. like, performing. Like, I'm all about performing on a stage mm -hmm. and doing stuff like that, but, uh, and I also write, so I, like, I've, I've wrote several songs. Um, I'm, like, a closet rapper as well. <laughs> I have, like, awesome. I write, like, a lot, so I have, like, all of these things that I've just, like, not really shared with yeah. anybody on social media that I just kind of am working on, but... That's something. That's a goal that I have. I want to that's release a amazing. song this year. I can't wait to hear your music. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna be jamming to Ariel Lindsay. I'm like 100%. It's such a weird idea, a but like I'm super no, excited. Yeah. It's not a weird idea. I think I think it makes sense. Well, I really like thank you for opening your whole entire world yes. to us. Like this is so fun. I definitely want to know your three major tips on how to make a TikTok go viral before I let you go. Okay. I want to know like what what are the three key elements to the best TikTok making skills that you have. Okay, so, and I actually have to thank Dakota for a lot of, like, he has taught me so much. Um, he, you're gonna have to do, like, a whole thing on him. He's a genius, I swear. <laughs> we will, we um, will. We're coming for you, Dakota. <laughs> but a few things is, uh, have them, like, not be sad, as have, like, whatever the video is, they're not, like, where they're not satisfied at the end of it that makes them need to watch it again. So either, like, an abrupt ending or something that just doesn't totally makes sense so or something that two. like either a part two or just something that's like kind of like what where it's it makes you feel like you have to watch it again so that's like one thing that's um genius there needs to be like it has to start with something and now this isn't like also there's videos that go viral that maybe don't have these components so this isn't going to work like all the time advice, yeah. but this is just like advice that i've seen is um have start have the video start like like fast like so kind of because people's attention span is very short, and then yeah. also TikTok is already like short videos, so you have to like to get someone's wow. attention to keep them before they just like scroll on the for you page. You need it to like start with something that's like gonna like jump out, jump out, or something that's like there has to be shock value of some kind that's like makes people go like what, um, and then 
Another tip is using songs that are trending. That's yeah. also, that's going to be like, I think that's always going to be one. And then if you're Ariel throwing it back. <laughs> yeah. If you're Ariel <laughs> throwing it back at some point, yeah, your video is going to do well. So, that's awesome. Yeah. And that's on you guys because yeah. that's on the viewers that you have shown me this. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Yeah. This was so awesome. Yeah. I'm super, I'm for you. I'm super thankful uh, for everything. Super like grateful. I feel blessed. Great. But I also just love like everything that I do. I love my fans. I'm so yeah. like thankful. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. And thanks for wanting to come and interview me. Yeah, we need awesome. like a we need, we to, need to, to hang out. We need yeah. to hang out. No, we need to hang out. <laughs> yeah, this we do. Awesome. Throw it back auditions. First up is Nastasia. Hey, aren't you like a host? Are you just in I, I know I was already here, but I, I just really want to throw it back. Just just watch, okay? Okay. What the fuck? Was that good? Really good. Um, maybe you should just stick to hosting. <gasps> if you're dying to know more about your favorite influencers, make sure to give us a like and leave a comment suggesting who we should interview next. Make sure to follow us on all of our socials and subscribe to our channel for more stories behind the filter.